Hello everyone, in this video I'll be walking you through how to remove items from the Skyrim game world using SSE Edit. This method should work with other XEdit flavors for other games as well, such as Skyrim Legendary Edition and Fallout 4. So whenever you heavily mod your game, there's always a chance you'll encounter little bugs or conflicts like this. In this case, we have a modded tree that is in a very different shape than vanilla, but then we have these hanging moss instances here that assume that the tree will be in the vanilla shape. So here they are just floating in the air like anti-gravity salad. But fear not, we can use the SSE edit tool to remove this stuff from the game. First, we'll just need to hit the tilde key to open up our console. And don't worry if my console looks a little bit different than yours. I'm running a mod called More Informative Console, which, wait for it, adds more information to the console. This is completely doable without this mod, even though I do recommend it. So the next step is we're going to use our mouse to select the item that we want to remove. And right here to the right, we see this ref form ID, and this is the number here that we want to make sure that we note. Um, now you can write it down, which is completely fine. I actually like to take a screenshot just to ensure accuracy of the number that we're looking for. Now, if you're not running this more informative console mod, the ref ID, which is shown here in my view, probably will show up right around the center of your view right here. Now make sure not to note the base form ID instead. We will not be using that one. In fact, if you do remove that from your game, you're going to cause issues. Okay, then we just need to rinse and repeat for the other item in the game here. Take the screenshot. And then we can just close down the game and we'll be working with SSE edit from here on out. Okay, next we'll want to launch XEdit from whatever mod manager you prefer. In this case, I am launching SSE Edit from Mod Organizer 2. And when it asks you to select your modules, just go ahead and select all of them and hit OK. And then if it asks you which mod groups you want to activate, I go ahead and activate all of them. Okay, so once SSE Edit is all loaded up, we can go ahead and click in the form ID search box here and type in the ref ID for the item that we want to disable. In my case, it is going to be 52B02 and then hit enter to search. We get a sound saying that it has found our record. And what we want to do is select the top level record that is labeled with the ref ID that we're looking for. Now this is very important. At this time, we can go ahead and hit the delete button to remove that record completely, but we don't want to do that. If anything in your save is referencing this ref ID, you will have broken the save at that point, and you may well have broken other things in the game that is looking for this particular object here. A much better solution is to come into uh, the record flags section here and double click on it. Now, it's going to warn you that you can break all kinds of stuff if you edit anything in the plugins, but that's okay. We're not worried about that. Say, yes, I'm absolutely sure. And then when you get the drop down here, just go ahead and click on initially disabled. Now, this has the same effect of going into your console, clicking on the item, and typing in the disable command. It removes it from the game world, but it doesn't completely remove it from underneath the hood in the game engine. So this is a very safe way to do it. It's not going to affect your save file at all. It's just going to remove that object from your game world. And then we're going to rinse and repeat for the other floating piece of hanging moss there, which happens to be the same ref ID, except instead of ending with two, it's ending with three. And lo and behold, that record is right underneath the first one that we found there. Uh, and we're gonna do the exact same thing. Double click on the record flags section and then check the box that says initially disabled. Okay, you're done in SSE edit, go ahead and close that out. And when it asks you to save the plugin here, the ESP file, I always like to make sure that the backup plugins checkbox is checked. Just in case we muck anything up, we can always go back to a backup and redo this. All right, that should be it. All we have left to do now is load up the game and check out our handiwork. And we can now see that the errant greens have been removed. Great success, am I right? And that's it, easy enough, right? So if this helped you at all, please do like and subscribe for more little tips and tricks like this. 
And if I've missed something or have gotten something wrong, please do let me know in the comments below and we'll make sure that the correct info gets put out there. Thanks for watching and see you next time.